and I know so like these first two weeks and, and in the Pioneer League, it's a you know six game series. He's basically spent a week against an opponent and then the next week against another opponent. So your right. first two weeks are on the road, but then on Tuesday, you guys are coming back to Raimondi Park. I saw you guys just announced that you recently just sold it out. So congrats about that. And and I also saw you guys posted your, um, I don't know what you call it, a mission statement or your theme for the season. You called it Built by Oakland. You had a really poignant post about, you know, all the strides that, you know, the organization has made in the six months. And so what, what's it like to, you know, kind of have it yeah. bring it on home on Tuesday, you know? I mean. Yeah. It, it's good. And I'll, I'm glad you brought that up, Alex. I do want to say something about the Built by Oakland post that we posted today, because I think that like beyond all of what we were saying about all of the help we've gotten, we ha- it's completely taken a village. There was an underlying message there that we were trying to get across, which was that like, hey, everybody, remember, we're like an upstart community baseball team. And it does feel like we're getting a lot of questions and inquiries as if we are like, the Boston Celtics or, you know, the <laughs> yeah. Oakland Raiders or any team that's like at the, like at yeah, that yeah. level and has been around and been established. Cause people like every time people ask us a question, it's like, okay, what's your, um, you know, what's the, what's the parking route from the park, you know, for the, for the staff and what's the system for media passes. And every, every time we get a question, we're like, Oh, okay. That let's add that to the list. That's another <laughs> oh, well, thing that we yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. have to figure out. So Uh we've been sort of like learning on the fly, all of the things that we need, but, and, and I think that like we hit the ground running really hard and we punched above our weight class a little bit. And I think we maybe created outsized expectations. And the truth is some stuff's going to go horribly wrong and it's going to be, um, it's, it's going to be what it's going to be. And we're, you know, I think our intention is there and our authentic, selves are there and our heart is there but like some shit is gonna go wrong and like i hope people aren't like what i thought this was like a professional baseball game like you guys are a joke because we're we're giving it everything and we're doing it for the right reason and that's what we have to offer you know Mm -hmm. brian what's the mustard situation gonna be (laughs) quick how many mustards how many mustards mustards? where can i get sauerkraut (laughs) We got yeah. We have uh, we have farm to table sauerkraut that's locally sourced. You're going to be good. You're going to be set, Hal. We're really excited. You're going to be flying in hot dogs for us. On yeah, that's Tuesday. right, Hal's right. Yeah, back, so uh, right. I'm flying in. I'm flying back in on Sunday morning. Uh, I've got a and go you got those first steamer. class tickets we sent you right for the. Flight. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And we'll you put best. me uh, up first class on Uzbekistan Airlines. Uh, you know, uh, just a, a short 38 hour layover in, in Central Asia and then back to Oakland. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. We'll... Um, well, you know, you know, you ain't the Raiders, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. So coming in on Sunday, I got so many things to do. I got to go collect the steamer. I got to get the steamer ready. I got to get it over to Ramondi. I got to go to the, the, the restaurant supply store and buy a ton of condiments. and shit. <laughs> oh man, it's going to be crazy. Well, um, Brian, you were saying offline, is there going to be some, uh, some vendor wars or something? I don't know if you could disclose this information, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We might want to save that. There might be some beef. I understand. Uh, there might be some beef. You see what I did there? Uh, that, I- <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm j- here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm going to say. I may have left, but I'm coming back, and I hope that seat is warm. <laughs> it's gonna be the, warm. The vendor throat is warm, baby. But <laughs> see ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand that there might be another vendor who might vend a different product. Who, and I'm I'm not going to say who. Who maybe has been talking some smack and feels like now that you're on the East Coast, like there's a new sheriff in town in the vending world. That's all I'm going to say. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. And, uh, yeah. Another thing too, Brian, I saw the videos of Casey Pratt. He's been you know, kind of periodically sharing videos of the progress you guys have made at Raimondi Park. I mean, that, that's a whole in- another endeavor. That's, you know, but it's its own beast, I can assume. Trying to install 4,000 seats, you know, and bathrooms and, you know, just all the infrastructure there. Um, I saw is it, are it's the a seats, lot. Yeah. Are the, are the seats done? It looks like the seats are pretty much done. How's it going the over there? Pre- the seats are pretty much done. There's a lot of other things that are not very much not done. Like the video board, um, the, like the field looks great. Uh, the seats 
are done. You know, the there's like a um the the media, what's it called? The press box is like uh-huh. a shipping container uh-huh. that like is, you know, gonna arrive or just arrived or like it's all there's a lot of like wiring and stuff that has to happen and you know, all quite quickly, like all basically this weekend. Like uh-huh. I, you know, I knew we were gonna I knew it was gonna be down to the wire, but it is like really down to the wire. We like literally hours. put out a call uh-huh. hours, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're having um we, you know we we put out a call a lot of people are volunteering tomorrow and saturday to like come and build like furniture for the clubhouse and stuff like that um which is great it's it's you know when we say that this is like built by oakland and that our theme is built by oakland like we really mean it like literally people yeah. are <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like how can people how can people volunteer to build furniture i uh, good question i've got a google form that we we've got a link out first of all in the email if you're on our list that built by oakland yeah. post there's a link at the bottom that okay. talks about how you can sign up to volunteer um, okay great we'll get out yeah. there yeah please we hey, guys, I see your Google I, I, too. i'm oakland gonna need Bo- i i'm coming in from like you know this 38 hour layover in uzbekistan i'm hoping that there is going to be a full uh installed jacuzzi in the vending room so that's what <laughs> yeah, i was it'll told. be ready that's what it'll, be ready. it'll be ready. It'll be ready. And there's definitely going to be a vending room, pal. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah. what? You guys have your own uh, locker room <laughs> or what? what are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah, get yeah. To exactly. Easy. Correct. Good. Yeah. 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 And, um, and and I also wanted to ask you about uh, some recent comments that were made by Ray Bobbitt of the AASCG. Um, you know, they... Um, they so AASEG they completed their purchase of their ha- of, of half of the Coliseum lot from the city of Oakland uh, last week. And during the press conference, he said, "Oh, we have a good relationship with the Oakland Ballers, the Oakland Roots, and everything." So, like, is there any scenario where maybe in twenty twenty five the the Ballers play some games at the Coliseum? Like, can we see baseball come back to the Coliseum? Yeah, I mean, we we love Raimondi. We're committed to Raimondi. And what we really want to do is, like, make this season a success and then prove to the community, prove to the city, prove to neighbors that we, you know, can have a lasting permanent relationship at Raimondi and build up. Uh-huh. Like, the way that you can build stadiums modularly now, and we've got great partners and a, a firm called In Production that, like, put the seats in. And, you know, you can layer, like, this is 4,000 seats, but there's no reason that you can't do 8,000 seats at Raimonde should the appetite be there and should the community be ready for that and want that. Mm -hmm. So that's plan A. Like, do we want to play some games at the Oakland Coliseum? Hell yeah, of course we do. We tried to do that this year, but we got shut down and you guys know that story. So, you know, I think that we would be looking at like maybe, you know, Father's Day, 4th of July, you know, big, big games at the Oakland Coliseum. We're definitely... Uh-huh. trying to you know uh, uh, open to exploring that i think that you know we're so focused on making this season and making opening day a success that like a lot of these like big picture projects we've uh-huh. just set aside because yeah, yeah. we have tunnel vision for june 4th 